this meeting to order at 636. The City of Manesson uh, fiscal year 2019 CDBG program modification agenda for public hearing. Pledge the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, just to make sure everybody understands what this is. This is modifying how we are going to spend money from 2019. Um, this is money that's been carried over for some period of time, obviously three years, um, and this is what we're doing. So the city proposes to do the following. Reduce the budget amount for public service for youth activity from $44,775 to $13,459.17. The reason why we wanted to do that was for the next item, was to create a new activity, Public Facilities Improvement, Manesson Civic Center, in the amount of $31,315.83. Funds will be used to upgrade the kitchen equipment, install a ha handicap ramp at the front door, and new flooring. So what we're doing is we're taking some money from one account and moving it to the other. And the pretty self-descriptive there, what were you going to do? If anybody has any adverse comments, please say so now. If you have testimony to say that this is the wrong thing or whatever, that's fine. So this is going to be done all one time, correct? Yeah, this is re changing from one budget, one buy item to another. Mm -mm. No, no, this is, is money left over will get spent right, right now. We'll spend this money as quickly as possible. Yes. Right. And it stays in 2019. Right. So now it's going to be spent in 2023. That's, that's correct. correct. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Yes. Yep. This is not city budget. This has only to do with federally granted uh, money through the CDBG. Through it's a DCED HUD thing. That's right. Well, uh, mm -hmm. well just because it's, it, that's not uncommon. You do projects, sometimes it doesn't come out the same cost you budgeted for. Sometimes it comes out a little bit less and you have money left over. And that's what this is. Now also bear in mind too that what we're doing here now does not establish anything. We're doing it today so that it can be on the agenda on Thursday that it will be voted on by council meeting. Fix the kitchen and mm -hmm. handicap ramp and floors. No, we knew it all along, but we can't spend it until we go through this procedure here that we're doing right now. It could have been, yes. Because we didn't know how much money we had left over. We still had outstanding charges that were going against various projects. It's just like this 2023 money that we, we talked about before. We will not get a chance to even touch that money until 2024. It's 2023. April or May of 2024. Will be the first time that that money becomes available at all. And you don't necessarily spend it all from April to the end of the year because maybe the radios didn't come in. Maybe the street didn't cost as much as we thought it would. Maybe we decided that we don't need to demo any more houses, that all the houses are being demoed by the county. All these things become fluid at some point. All we're doing is our best guess at how we want the money spent. At some point, 
they will reconcile this and say, okay, you only demoed three houses and we got $10,000 left over here. That may not happen until the following year. It may be 25 before that happens and we're talking 23. We have actually, yes, we've actually cleared out more old CDBG money last year than has been done in a long time. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're, we're trying to get caught up with all this. No, CDBG is, uh, CDBG is a community block development grant. It can only be spent in the economically depressed areas as defined by the U.S. Census. It turns out all of Manesson now qualifies. Mm -hmm. It was the two, entire two years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago it switched over. Yeah, it used to be we could only spend it in certain areas of town, but as of now we can spend it throughout anywhere in town. Now, I want to spend it where it's most needed, and that's what we're trying to do. That's what we're saying with the 2019 money, is we're saying that we have a total of $31,315.83 left over. Yeah, that was, that's been um, assigned to the youth program down at the Civic Center for, for quite a few years. And we, it was earmarked for them. Till this year, yes. Yeah, they used yes. $13,459.17, basically. That's the money that I was talking to. Is that money just to be replaced? No. By the no, that $13,459.17 was spent, as I understand it. Mm -hmm. yes. What is left is $31,315.83. So that's what we have left. Yes. That's what we have left, is $31,000. No, that is to accomplish three things. One, to fix the kitchen, two, to build a handicap ramp, and three, to put some flooring in, in a couple of the rooms that, that need the flooring. Not the, the basketball court, but some of the auxiliary rooms. And that's going to cost 31000 Between the handicap ramp, the, the kitchen, and the flooring, that's what we're budgeting. So let's say, as an example, that we get, we get all that done and it only costs us 29000 Entirely possible. We do those, those three things and it only costs 29000 Just as an example, that means there'll be $2,000 of 2019 money that next year will go through the same thing and we'll say, we want to move $2,000 from 2019 money to 2024. It, that's the reason why this money gets left over. But they've been doing things all along, doing it, and it just gets to be a smaller and smaller amount. Last year, they did a whole bunch of work to the Civic Center. They bought basketballs. They bought they they bought a lot of equipment, popcorn machines. They did did a we lot of things. They put the HVAC HVAC they put, them in the same right in the same uh, two thousand nineteen. We, we've done, we've done a lot of things over there. All the things that we said we would do, and we had thirty three thirty one thousand dollars left over, even still. Well, we're going to put as much as required to do the handicap ramp, the kitchen, and the floors. They don't have an idea of what it's going to cost. Exactly. We don't know the exact numbers for all this stuff. It might, and we can only do th we can only do thirty one thousand dollars.
Just hands. we're just doing the equipment. We're doing the equipment. Mm -hmm. we're, we're replacing the equipment and we're putting in a, we want to put in a hand, a, a hand sink which is by law. I don't know if it will or not. We'll, we'll find out when we, we finally go we out for bid. We'll get bid. we'll we'll find out what it truly costs to do any of these things. Maybe there's not, and we we'll may be pulling some money out of the can. next year budget in order to do that. And that's, that's the primary reason why money gets shuffled from year to year is you either underestimate the cost or you overestimate the cost. You either end up with a project that doesn't have enough money to get done or you've got money left over. For the same reason. For the same reason. They didn't know what it was going to cost to do things. They, they, it ended up not costing them enough. It would have been cheaper, we know that. But at the end of the day, I'm going back to the original question. I would never call a contractor that's going to bid. I would call the engineering company that's permanently to dedicate its time to give you an example or the cost. Or, or, or give the us cost. an estimate. Yeah, and I, I don't disagree with that, and, but that doesn't change anything that we've talked about here. If somebody's got major issue with us spending $31,000 on the Civic Center in order to try to get the kitchen, the handicap ramp, and the flooring done, then that's what this is about. Otherwise, I think we're done with the, the meeting. And, and he can. It doesn't change the, the fact that we got $31,000. And may, maybe we would, but it wouldn't change the fact that we have $31,315. Right. We're going to do it. We're allocating, make it clear, we're allocating $31,315.83 hopefully to accomplish three things. If it's not enough money, so we'll be looking for more. Why do you have issues with having I have no issue with what you said. Why None you whatsoever. Why don't you have the engineer, our engineer? I agree, but that doesn't change anything. It's still 31,315. I understand, and at least you know this number. Then you'd be able to tell you, look, I don't think this is gonna happen that way. Maybe we could only do this part, but not this part. Maybe, but it doesn't change it. This is what we, the people, want to do. Is spend money on the Civic Center. He should be the one that actually makes it, that, that be able to do the estimated cost, because that's what it is, an estimated cost. Mm -hmm. And those guys are pretty good on estimating costs. Yeah, well, it doesn't really matter in this case, because all we're doing is saying we want to spend $31,000 on the Civic Center. But if, it's, if it costs 50000 if we put it up, then you got to eliminate something, right? Maybe. But we just put it next year, we'll come out with more money. This will be able to tell you that better than anybody. Tony Pytel be able to tell you who's in first. It doesn't change the fact that we got $31,000 we're going to spend there. I know that may have changed. Well, I'd like to adjourn this meeting. Okay. Adjourn a meeting. It's 7, oh, 640, 650.